Africana fam. Right now I'm starting off with a blank canvas head and I had this in the average size which is a 22.5 inch circumference. And I'll be placing a spandex mesh dome cap. And I find this a little bit more breathable than the actual spandex dome cap. And right now what I'm doing is just pulling down the nape area and pinning that down. And I got this technique from I am Erica J. She is like the hair god of YouTube. So if you guys want to check that out, check that out. And today I'll be having this hair from Wiggins Hair. I have in their Brazilian body wave with the frontal of 18 inches. And I have 20, 22, and 24 inch bundles. So right now what I'm doing is just placing the frontal about 2 inches in front of the wig cap. And I am pinning it down in the front and back. And what I'm doing is just pretty much just pulling the air tabs of the sides into the front. Now you guys, you want to make sure that in the front it's a little bit baggy. And the reason why I say this is because even though it may look a little bit baggy in front, and you have an M shape in the front, you want to make sure that the back is flat. If the back is not flat, you got to do it again, mamita, because we're not doing it right. So remember, the back has to be flat, you guys. Now starting off with the sewing, I'm going to be doing close, close stitching. Now this will enable your frontal to last as long as you want. I've had trouble in the past where my frontals just came falling apart because I didn't do close stitching. So you want to make sure you do very, very close stitching, you guys. It is a must. And make sure you always tie a couple of knots in the middle of you stitching as well. Now, what I am doing is I'm going to go all the way to the end and then pretty much backtrack. So me backtracking just ensures that the, that the size of the frontal doesn't come off because I also had issues of the sides of the frontal and the thread unraveling and you just don't want that. So when I get towards the end, I make sure I always double knot every stitch that I do. So where the band part is especially, I sew through the band so I have a secure fit and that I am tying knots. Yeah, you guys, just make sure you tie your knots. Make sure that you're tying them tight as well too. You don't want no falling frontals because I'm telling you that's not pretty. Now what I like to do is mark where I'm putting my tracks at and I'll be using my Sharpie Metallic permanent marker in the color silver and I'm just using that to mark where I am putting my tracks and this is a helpful tip to use especially if like you're a beginner and like you know you don't want to end up doing tracks too close or too far apart so this pretty much is your blueprint of your wig. This will help you ensure that your wig is laid finesse you're not doing anything too far apart or too close together and this is just this is just foolproof like you cannot fail with this method you guys so this is how it looks like in the end and right now as you guys can see the bundles is looking very luscious very luscious this hair is bomb you guys i really love it and right now what i'm doing is just sewing through the cap first and then through the weft and throughout all the wig i had double wefted it so I put the two tracks together just to have a fuller effect. And right now what I'll be doing is just pinning down the ends so I can sew without the hassle of me holding the tracks and then trying to sew at the same time. This just does the job for you. So yes. So right now what I'm doing is just sewing in an upwards motion. I like to sew upwards. I don't really like to sew downwards because I feel like it's not as secure as you sewing upwards. You sewing upwards just... Just, I feel like it tightens it. I feel like it honestly tightens it. But within my first threading up, I like to do a knot. And I just sew and yeah, just keep on sewing, you guys. Just keep sewing, just keep sewing, just keep sewing, sewing, sewing. Not miss up. But yes, you guys, just keep sewing. And when I get at the end, I like to double, triple, quadruple knot my <laughs> my weft just to make sure that it's not gonna come off at all because there's nothing more annoying than having tracks falling off so as you guys can see i am triple knotting it and what i like to do is i cut my wefts you guys i don't know about you guys but i like to cut my wefts especially when it comes to frontals 
You want your fronts to be laid, so I personally cut my wefts. And what I like to do is I like to cut the tracks first before I cut off the um, thread. Because sometimes when you cut the thread first and then cut off the weft, it tends to unravel and then all your hard work is ruined. So I cut off the weft first and then cut off the thread. And you're just going to do the same process, you guys. It's so repetitive, you guys. It's so repetitive. It's so easy. It's foolproof. Anybody can make their own wig if they really want to. You just got to put your mind to it. Yes, it takes a lot of time and practice, but listen, practice makes perfect, you guys. And this is how it looks. As you guys, the stitching is neat as hell. Feel me? Ain't nothing sloppy over here. And yeah, this is just pretty much the process of me making the wig. And you guys shall see how it looks like at the end. Now, the way I mark my... um. The way I mark where my tracks lay at, I like to just do it straight across and then going into like a U and then straight down just so it lays really flat. I feel like I didn't get to explain that earlier on so I want to explain that now. So yes, it lays really flat and you just get a seamless slowing instead of you, you know, just doing extra stuff and trying to fold over. Just cut the wefts, you guys. You're not going to shed. You're not going to do nothing. If you really got good hair, you ain't going to shed, mamita. And this is the final track. And what I like to do is just attach the track with the frontal. Just so when you know you brush your hair, or whatever, you don't feel no gaps. You don't want to feel no gap, mamita. You know, I keep on saying mamita. I don't know why. But yeah, you guys. Just keep on sewing and then end off with a nice tight knot and cut it off. Alright you guys, so now that we're done, you're going to flip your wig inside out and you're going to see pretty much where the cap is left off and where it's not sewn at, which is where your frontal is. You're going to cut that off, but be very careful. You're going to cut right before the threading of the frontal. You do not want to cut no thread from the frontal because then all your hard work is going to be ruined. You don't want to do that. Just be careful cutting. Make sure you cut right before the threading of your frontal. And as you guys can see, these are the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe for my videos. And yes, I have another video of me actually installing the wig. So stay tuned. Later, darlings.